everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today in this video we're going to go over some new nursing tips, specifically code status. Chances are if you're watching this video, you're a new nurse wanting to learn as much as you can because you're fixing to be on your own or you're fixing to graduate from nursing school and you want to have some tips and know some information before you get out there. So in this video, I'm specifically going to go over code status. I think code status is one of the things that's most not given as much attention to as it should be, especially as I've encountered it as a nurse. And it's one of the most important things because it helps direct your care and providing care to this patient. So let's go over what a code status is. A code status is what it is, it's usually a legal document or the patient shared with their doctor and the doctor will have an order for you on the chart or in the electronic health record that says what the patient's code status is. Always look at that. And this is where the patient is letting us know if I go into cardiac arrest, I can't make decisions for myself. This is how I want you guys as the healthcare professionals to take care of me. These are my wishes. And a lot of times the patient will have a power of attorney that will help make those decisions and things like that. Okay, so what are code sizes? What are they called? How are they termed in the medical field? Okay, what I've seen, I've seen several different types. You've probably seen more, but these are the types that I've encountered. I've encountered full code. That's what majority of patients are. This means that we're gonna provide everything for them. If they go into cardiac arrest, we're gonna do CPR, we're gonna do intubation, we're gonna do tube feedings, we're gonna do everything we can possible to save their life. Next, the second common is the DNR. It's a do not resuscitate. It's the opposite of full code. A DNR is if that patient went into cardiac arrest, we would just help them be comfortable and transition to death. We would just make them as comfortable as possible. They wouldn't have compressions, they wouldn't be intubated, anything like that. So the two are completely different. And I'm gonna share a very interesting story with you on why it's so important you address your code status with your patient here in a second. Next, I've also seen what's called a DNI, a do not intubate. A little bit weird. Um, it means that they want CPR, but they don't wanna be intubated. I've also seen just a chemical code where they don't want chest compressions, they just want the drugs that you would give for a code. So you always need to check with the patient, check with the doctor to make sure that this is what the patient wants. So when do you, when's the best time to really assess for this and to ask the patient, make sure they know what their code status is. The best time is it admission. Um, usually your physician, whenever they're admitting the patient is gonna ask the patient this and um, you'll have the order in the chart and you'll go by this. But sometimes that doesn't get done. Maybe the patient was rushed in, got on your floor fast, the physician wasn't able to do it, or maybe it was just overlooked, and, or the, the physician just assumed. So on admission, you always wanna discuss with the patient and talk to them. You will find out as a nurse that a lot of patients have no idea what you're talking about. They don't know what a full code means. They don't know what a DNR means. And this is where you as a nurse provide them with education and you are educated yourself and talk to them about what these things are. If you work in a hospital settings, um, a hospital typically has some legal documents drawn up where the patients would just have to get them filled out with their wishes and get them notarized, and that can be their document. So you always wanna make sure you talk with them about it. And it's not good to really talk to them about it throughout, like later in their admission, say that they're getting really sick or they're unsure and scared, and then all of a sudden you go into the room and say, what do you want your code status to be? Because they're gonna freak out and think, oh no, am I dying? Is there something wrong? Why are you talking to me about this? So you wanna make sure you do it tactfully and at the right time. And always ask them and tell them why you're doing it. So let me tell you about the story, why it's so important to talk to your patient about your code status. This is a true story. I was there, it wasn't a patient of mine, but it was a friend of mine on the same unit we were working. So my friend, she was outside of her patient's room. She just went in, did her morning assessment, got the patient up, sitting in the chair. She's outside of the room, charting the patients, you know, looking through the door. And he says to his nurse, he says, I'm gonna die in this chair. And she's like, no, you're not gonna die in this chair. If anything, I'll save your life. And he's like, I don't want you to save my life. She says, well, what do you mean? You're a full code. And he said, I don't, what is a full code? What do you mean? If I die right now, I don't want you to do anything for me. Well, on the patient's chart, the doctor had gave an order that the patient was a full code. So assuming as the nurse, everyone, the patient knew what a full code was and that he wanted everything. 
Well, the nurse got to talking to the patient. He wanted his family to be called in and everything. And the patient did not want to be a full code. He wanted to be a do not resuscitate. And this patient wasn't on the brink of death. He was actually gonna be discharged the next day because he had just came in. He had a heart cath and got a stent, but he was gonna go home the next day. So everything was fine. It was just a little conversation that him and the nurse had. And the nurse just wanted to make sure that just in case anything happened, that the right thing was in the chart, what he wanted. Well, the next day, she did the same routine, got him up to the chair. She's outside of his room charting. And all of a sudden, she hears the monitor going off and she gets a phone call from telemetry saying that this patient is in V-fib, which V-fib is a rhythm that you're fixing to like die. Normally, if a patient's in V-fib and they're full code, we're gonna run in there, we're gonna do CPR, we're gonna do everything we can. But this patient was sitting in the chair, went to V-fib, and he died. And those were his wishes and what he wanted. But my point is, is if the nurse did not talk to that patient that day, or they even had that conversation the day before about the code status, we would have did everything we could have against his wishes and would have saved his life, but he didn't want that. So he had his wishes carried out. And really it's an interesting story because he died. It's like he predicted his death and knew he was gonna die in that chair. So that was an interesting story. And that right there sealed in my mind, I've got to discuss code status with my patients because you never know when that is gonna come up and you've got to know what is going on. So that's my tip for you new nurses out there. Always discuss your code status with your patient. And thank you so much for watching and check out my other nursing school videos to help you out and have a great day.